Hey, you! <laughs> Do you, um... Hi. Hey, you! <laughs> Progress. Hey, hi. Sucker. You wanna make money in the... <laughs> hey, you! You wanna make money in the music business? It's simple, actually. Anyone can do it, even you. You don't even need to be a world-famous A-list or pop star to make a lot of money in the music business. I'm talking a lot of money. All you need to do is start making songs about poop. But, like, actually, like, I'm not kidding. More than ever, in the age of TikTok, it seems as if making money as a musician would be so much easier if we just gave up on being authentic and started just making gimmicky little topical social media jingles like Twinkle Twinkle Little Hi. And when I learned about how much money people are making from making poopy music, like literally music about poop and farts, it's made me seriously consider just giving up. Just give up on being genuine and just taking the one-way street to money town. It turns out that out of all of the streaming services that the poop music community is making most of their streaming royalties through Amazon Music. Why is that, you may ask? Wow, what a great question. I have one word for you. Alexa. Think about it. If you were a little baby when the Alexa came out, like a little dumb baby with a stupid little hair on it, wouldn't you ask Alexa to play poop? Wouldn't you ask her to like sing a poopy, sing a poopy silly, a poopy fart anthem? I sure as hell would. I already do do this as an adult. I even bought the Alexa Extreme Farts expansion pack. Alexa, fart. That was a quick toilet one. Alexa, can you give me an extreme fart, like a dragon fart? Santa will take you through all the festive farts, like Christmas elf farts and mince pie farts. As a Prime member, you save 39 cents. Your price is just $1.60 plus tax. Would you like to buy it? Oh, fine. Alexa, give me a dragon fart. Okay, here goes. Uh-oh. That one was silent but deadly. Now I'm really in the cloud. Alexa, give me a fart from the Extreme Fart expansion pack. I bought this. I bought this pack. Give me an Extreme Fart, please. <laughs> Never mind, just fucking cut this part. Babies do this all the time. Breaking news, babies think poop funny. And Joey Helpish, the creator of the hit single Poopy Stupid Butt, is very aware of this phenomenon. Oh, yes he is. Poopy Stupid Butt. Here's a quote from an article about him by BuzzFeed. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna yell with BuzzFeed article, it's so funny. Shut up! Helpish and his partner Kristen run a music school in Oregon that specializes in working with autistic kids and helps them through the creative process of coming up with song ideas. We did a big songwriting session with these three kids, Helpish said. I said, give me five syllables to start. And the little four-year-old girl screamed, poopy stupid butt. And the next 10 minutes were me writing down everything the kids were yelling at me that Poopy Stupid Butt was doing. He added the song to Amazon Music along with a bunch of other songs co-written by the kids from the school. In 2019, Wire, Kristen, needed to pay some medical bills and the couple was strapped. And Helpish did the digital version of checking the couch cushions. He looked at his statement on Amazon Music, something he rarely did since it was only ever a few dollars. But to his shock, his account had several hundred dollars in it all from plays of poopy stupid butt. So Joey went on social media and saw that all these kids were asking their Alexa to play poopy stupid butt and boy, did Alexa deliver. Did Alexa deliver? Oh yeah, she did. And for a while they were making a hundred bucks a month off of poopy stupid butt, which I mean, yeah, it's not, you can't really live off that, can ya? But considering that a one stream is worth a fraction of a penny, this is a lot, this is a lot of money. This is no joke. That's some nice extra cash. But when COVID hit and the little babies had nothing better to do than bury themselves in the little electronic devices, get their sticky fingers all over the iPad, the streams for Poopy Stupid Butt went through the roof. It's been streamed over 10 million times on Amazon Music and has made that couple over $10,000 on a song about poopy butts that are stupid? They're not even smart poopy butts, they're literally stupid. That's ridiculous. Matt Farley is another creator of so many poop standards, poop classics, if you will. His most popular song ever being called Poop 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 Song. Actually, no, 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 sorry, sorry. No, no, it's not right, that's not right. It's actually called the Poop 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 Song. Poop, 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 
it falls out of my bum. His artist project, The Toilet Bowl Cleaners, has a plethora of these types of songs, several of them having over a million streams on Spotify. And he's even gotten co-signs from super serious artists like Charlie Puth. <laughs> Charlie, 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 poop, 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 poop. Charlie, 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 poop. Matt said in an interview that he noticed that if you put like popular searchable keywords in the names of your songs, like celebrities' names, that it'll increase the streams. This made his songs that he named after celebrities and stuff do better than any of the other music he had out at the time. And he's not the only one who does this. I mean, the kid Leroy was already famous, but like when he did the Addison Ray song, I feel like that's when he really, really exploded. Addison Ray. <sighs> made a song about Addison Ray. So Matt had a brain blast. If he wanted to make a living off of making music, then all he had to do was make 20,000 of these songs that use popular keywords in the titles like celebrities' names and poop. So he devoted himself full time to making as many songs as he can with these popular keywords in it. On every topic he can imagine, he would spend 12 hours a day churning out these songs. And as of last year, 2021, he's made over 21,000 songs across 70 artist projects. And the streaming royalties alone from his music will earn him $65,000 a year. You know what his net worth is? It's estimated to be anywhere between $1 million and $5 million off of Charlie Poop and Poop 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 song. What? That's crazy. He also makes birthday songs too, but that's beside the point. We're not talking about those. Yep, you heard it right. You heard it here first. If you want to make a living off of music, if you want to make a substantial living off of streaming royalties, all you got to do is just sit down for 12 hours a day and make poop, 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 poop song and Charlie Poop song and others. Matt also makes a majority of his streaming money off Amazon Music, which wasn't always the case. This wasn't the case until 2017, actually. And you know what else happened? You know what else happened in 2017? My mom! Just kidding. That What a dumb joke. Do you guys get it? You guys watch regular shit? Whatever. But actually, so what really did happen in 2017 was that the Echo Dot came out, like the cheaper version of the Amazon Echo. So naturally, sales in the Amazon Echo Alexa skyrocketed so there were more babies with it so now on amazon music matt makes 80 percent of his streaming money off of these poop songs guys what are we doing what am i what am i doing what is this wouldn't life just be so much easier if i just dialed it in for 12 hours a day made songs about poop charlie poop and birthday poop wouldn't life just be so much more simple i can make sixty five thousand dollars a year off of literal poopy song poopy diaper songs are you out of your mind? What are we doing? What's the point? Why am I talking about how I feel when I can just say poop diaper shit? Like why don't more people make their careers out of these poop songs? Why aren't there more super serious artists just giving up and going to the poop hole? What a great question. So I traveled across the globe to ask the world's most super serious artist. What's up YouTube? Today I've got Jason. Hey. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Jason's super serious. He's like, so we were supposed to have, I'm going to be honest with you guys. We were supposed to have a more serious musician. Like, trust me, he was, he's like serious. Like Jason can let loose a little, but like this other guy we're supposed to have. Oh, he, he's serious. <laughs> Jason's really serious. This video sucks. Wait. I'm trying to ask the questions, but everyone okay. here is trying to mansplain how to do a goddamn. Did you know, Jason, that you can make $65,000 a year? If you spent 12 hours a day making songs about poop, celebrities, and birthdays, and maybe some, some shit? I would not guess that the upper middle class has the option to make poop and shit songs to achieve this annual salary. Well, well, you don't have to guess because you can do that. Like, there's people who do do that. So, you know, how much do you make off music right now? <laughs> how much do you make off your super serious music, Jason? It's zero. So why aren't you doing all this bullshit? Because I make music for fun and enjoyment and not for a paycheck. Don't say that. You're the super serious. Oh, how am I serious if I made zero dollars? <laughs> Ask your Jason. See, I don't know how I'm supposed to answer. Why aren't you making just a bunch of bullshit? Like you could spend 12 hours a day making a bunch of bullshit or you could do what you're doing now and make no money. 
I've never looked at the audience of people who listen to music as four-year-olds yelling at an Alexa. And usually I just make stuff that I think sounds cool. And since I'm not a four-year-old who thinks poo-poo and pee-pee is the coolest thing in the world, then I don't <laughs> Jason, yes. <laughs> Let's give it up for Jason. Um, if you're still watching, thank you so much. Um, if you really liked this video, if you liked this video, don't forget to like it. And uh, that would really help the channel. And give it a little sub, please. Give Songs Like a Subscribe. Give Songs Like a Song Scribe. It'll be awesome. We upload sometimes every week. And if you really like this video, comment below what we should do to Jason in the next video. He's really serious. He's like really. really